Hey guys, it's Petek here, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use FL Studio 9 for beginners. Um, I'm going to start off by introducing a few basic things that you need to know. Um, the mixer, but we won't be using it now because um, that's not really for beginners. It's for um, browsers, that's where you get all your samplers from. You don't need that either. Uh, piano roll. I will be showing you that on part 2. Uh, step sequencer. Yeah, we need that. And playlist. Um, I will be uh, showing you some uh, just basic uh, sam uh, song and um, all you need to do is just follow me and then eventually we'll get the hang of it. Uh, if you don't have um, the basic um, step sequencer what you need to do is just go on to file new from template and then basic and then it will eventually load up. Uh, I'm just going to tell you that as you can see you can see 16 uh, little mini boxes here and each four of them make one beat so in total there's one beat, uh, four beats for each of the samplers so one two three four and if you just want to listen to that that's like ten beats per second uh, we don't need that alright we're gonna what, uh, what really important is to make a song is that for each pattern you use one sampler for each pattern so f let's just say for sample for pattern one you would just uh, use kick pattern two clap three hat four snare because uh, if you would do clap hat snare in one pattern pattern that would be way too difficult and it would just mess up your song all right what we're gonna do first is uh, rename our pattern one to kick so right click rename kick uh, you could just click on it and press F2 yep alright that's done uh, we're gonna start off with the kicks uh, I'm going to add uh, about mm, one per beat uh, actually, yeah, you can add here one as well. That might be a bit better. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then go on to pattern two, clap. And then on clap, we're going to have. Um, uh, yeah, we can have on the second beat and on the fourth beat that will be pretty good and then on hat we will have uh, yeah three of them all three 30 and then on snare uh, first one on the second one and first one on the fourth one alright what you need to do oops sorry yeah alright uh, what you need to do after that is uh, very important you need to go onto this magnet here and then make sure that you have it online that's what makes it um, literally um, really smooth to um, so you can add the specific sampler easily so yeah just go on magnet and then line alright we're gonna go and click on kick and then we just gonna put the pattern in here uh, I'm gonna put it up to here uh, click on clap uh, I'm just gonna leave up to um, uh, uh, spaces in between 
Uh, you can start whatever you want to with, uh, but I'm gonna start off with a kick. Kneels. Uh, hats. Just gonna make it a bit, you know, specific order. And snare. Alright, uh, if you would just press play here. Um. Pretty good for a beginner. Well done. Um, you may realize that sometimes you could just hear uh, kicks, just playing kicks, or playing clap, playing hat, or playing snare. Uh, what you need to do is uh, make sure that you have it clicked on song. If you have it on pattern, it will just play the specific pattern. You won't play the entire um, playlist. So yeah, make sure that's on song and then play it. Um, what you can also do is um, you can click on cl uh, kick, for example, right click, and then clone selected you will have another kick and you could just change that around a bit to um, uh, maybe that one here and then if you just want to play it oh wait I haven't added any uh, I'm just gonna add just add it here get rid of one of the clap yeah You can always change around, like you can start off with a clap and uh, start kick off with a first kick, second kick, and maybe the snare just before hat. Let's see. Oh, another thing what you can do is change the tempo. So uh, we were playing it on 140. Depending on what kind of music you would make, uh, if you would change it to about 100. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, it's pretty slow. Sounds quite good though. So yeah. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Uh, that's part one and I'll be doing a part two on how to use piano roll. Uh, so have fun, see you later, bye bye.